Yep, that's a little tough ice out there. You bet it's tough. It is curling after all. Curling should uh, really issue helmets. <laughs> It's the enigmatic winter sport that's captivated audiences with its fierce competition. Let it die, let it die, let it die. It's funny equipment and it's bizarre rules. Typically, the losing team in any sport buys the winning team a drink afterwards. With curling, it's the opposite. The winning team buys the losing team a drink, oh, typically nice. afterwards. So you want to stick around and you might want to lose. Stones, brooms, ice, what does it all mean? Basically, you throw two stones per player and there's four players. And the object of the sport is to get the stone closest to the button, which is the center of the house. So the team that gets closest to the button, um, their stone closest to the button, uh, scores a point. Here's what I've learned so far today. This, this is a button. That's about it, that's all I know. What the broom does is it promotes the stone forward and it takes the curl out of it. The reason why the sport is called curling is because you put a curl on the stone. So with all this sweeping. What you can't do is tell my wife that I broom. Then she Exactly. Then the jig is up and I got to sweep around the house. What are these four guys doing? We're a, a team um, of four middle-aged men that had a dream of going to the Olympics. And since we knew we couldn't do that in basketball, obviously at five foot eight, um, I'm challenged in that area. Uh, we decided curling. That's right. After picking the sport up in April, these guys qualified to the men's club nationals in March in Mankato, Minnesota. So what kind of shot do they have? Well, who knows? Because a lot can happen on this 150-foot field of ice. For them, though, it could be their own field of dreams. If we can band together and try our best, uh, you never know how far we can get.